apparently it's really satisfying. So I'm going to find out right now. It's in 10 out of 10. I know that I'm taking a break, but I'm just making videos here and there with, with no schedule. So apparently, unboxing Apple products, apparently it's really satisfying. So I'm going to find out right now if that's the case. And may I say, the looks of it when I got it, 10 out of 10. For those of you who are wondering, it is a... Let me just do that again, yeah? For the sakes of it. Yeah, for the sakes of it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? That is so satisfying, my god. For anyone who's wondering, it is a iPhone 11 with 64 gigabytes. What's this? Huh? Oh, okay, yeah, that's put the SIM card in. And here is the iPhone itself. Oh, in black, it looks so nice. Oh, do I? Do I? I can't. I can't! Right, this is for the both of us, me and you watching, yeah? All right, you ready? Three, two, one. Oh my God. That is so satisfying. My goodness. The only downfall is I haven't got a phone case yet. So I hope I don't drop it. I've had my new iPhone for around 24 hours. And I love it, but I hate it at the same time. And the reason why, the reason why I love it is because it's so smooth to hold and type and use. And... I've got more storage on it, so it's better for me in general, and the quality is a bit better than my old phone, which which for me is really good. But I hate it, because call me unmodern and retro all you want, but me personally, I would prefer, prefer if the phone had like a button there that you could just press. Oh my god! It makes it so much easier to use. Like, why haven't they done that? It's so annoying. No. And as well, why, why on God's earth do you have to literally order a iPhone charger separately just to get the phone charging? Like, currently I'm using a different iPhone charger for this one, to which I'm a bit sceptical of because I don't know if that's going to damage the charging port, but let me know down below if that will or not. And let me know down below what, what phone you have. Would I recommend it? I mean, I've only used it for like a day, so I can't really speak on that. But from from how I've been using it, I would recommend buying it. But it just takes some getting used to. So I'd rate this phone... I'd rate, I would rate it a 8 out of 10. Because I haven't used it for majorly long. I'm just going by how I've used it and how long I've used it for. Yeah, let me know which provider you're with. I'm with Vodafone now, just so you know as well, I know that I'm taking a break, but I'm just making videos here and there with, with no schedule, just to see how I get on, to see if I like the concept a lot better. Hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, share, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.